What is 12 squared? Quite a few of us would know that it's 144, but in this video, we will look at a super quick way to square a number. The first thing we need to do is look at the number that is being squared. It's 12. The numbers we will be looking at squaring in this session will be close to some power of 10. By powers of 10, I mean 10, 100, 1000 and so on. So while squaring such numbers, we first choose a base which is close to the number that is being squared. And the base will be some power of 10. Here, 12 is close to 10. So let 10 be the base here. Once the base is decided, we find the difference between the number and the base. That will be 12 minus 10 which equals 2. This number here is really important. It's the difference between the number and the base. We will soon see why. But understand the first few steps really well. We chose the base which is close to the number and then we found the difference between the base and the number. After these steps, we make a partition. On the left, we write the sum of the number and the difference. That will be 12 plus 2. Sum of the number and the difference. And on the right, we simply square the difference. It will be 2 squared. 12 plus 2 is 14 and 2 squared is 4. We have the answer. 12 squared is 144. Let's review it again. We found the base and then found the difference between the number and the base. After making a partition, on the left we wrote the sum of the number and the difference and on the right we wrote the square of the difference. And that gave us the answer. But we should be careful about just one thing here. The number of digits we should write on the right hand side should be equal to the number of zeros in the base. Here, as there is just one zero in the base, we write just one digit on the right. If there were two zeros in the base, we would have had to write 4 as 04. Why don't you try one now? Try using the same technique to find 14 squared. Here, we can choose the base as 10 as 14 is pretty close to it. The next step is to find the difference between the number and the base. That will be 14 minus 10 which equals 4. After this, we make a partition. On the left, we write the sum of the number and the difference. That will be 14 plus 4. And on the right, we square the difference. So we write 4 squared. 14 plus 4 is 18 and 4 squared is 16. So the answer is 1816. This is a very common mistake that students make when they use this technique. Don't forget what I told you. The number of digits on the right will be equal to the number of zeros on the base. As there is just one zero in the base, we will have just one digit on the right. So 14 plus 4 is 18 and 4 squared is 16. As just one digit is allowed on the right, we carry the 1 over and write 6 here. 6, 8 plus 1 is 9 and 1. That's the answer. 14 squared is 196. The takeaway here was that we wrote the unit's digit 6 here and carried the 1 over as just one digit was allowed. Here's the last example which I want you to try. 98 squared. The number 98 is close to 100. So we choose the base as 100. Once the base is chosen, we subtract a number from the base to find the difference. That will be 98 minus 100 and that will be minus 2. We have the base, we have the difference. Now we make the partition. On the left, we have the sum of the number and the difference. 98 plus minus 2 can be written as 98 minus 2. And on the right, we have the square of the difference. That will be minus 2 squared. Will the answer be 964? Don't forget, the number of digits on the right will be equal to the number of zeros in the base. As there are two zeros in the base, there will be two digits on the right. So 98 minus 2 is 96 and minus 2 squared will be written as 04. 98 squared is equal to 9604. Remember the steps. Base, 
difference between the number and the base, partition, sum of the number and this difference on the left, and the square of the difference on the right. In the next part of the session, we will solve for squares of larger numbers which are close to the power of 10.